9.42 p.m. and still waiting. This scan has been going for an hour and 31 minutes. All of them have. And no results. Nothing. This still is not opening, so we can see why the Cisco's big box. I was just informed that my child was banned from a Minecraft server he plays on because he was accused of hacking. He's 13 years old, he doesn't know how to hack, but it could be the person helping themselves. Here we go. 1714128.41176. Is this a Nicholas address now? Anyway, I know you think the point of this is just so I get credit or I get better protection. It's not. It's for children like my son, our next generation, who want and dream of becoming video game creators, who are learning coding in school but have absolutely no protection. When he comes home from school next year, when he's in a higher grade, wanting to purchase AutoCAD or any other program that he can use to create his games and actually start trying to fulfill his dream, it's not going to be safe. If we can't protect art, how are you going to protect that? If you don't stop and think about every aspect that somebody has and don't think about protecting everything that somebody has eventually you're going to allow the wrong person to get hacked and have their property stolen and then you're going to be on the wrong side of the lawsuit and then it'll be public knowledge and people will be showing their asses like i am trying to get a resolution and that's all i want i want to be able to stand up for everyone who is fighting this on their own Everyone who has not figured out how it's happening. I'm not entirely sure how it's happening myself, but I'm getting closer. And hopefully the information that I'm sharing with you, Microsoft, with you, the FBI, with you, McAfee, can be put to good use to protect the next generation, to protect us tomorrow. I know that's not possible. There's not going to be a major update tomorrow for everything. but. We need it sooner than later because one day you're going to allow somebody to allow the wrong person to be victimized. And there's going to be major waves then. Nine forty-seven, Still not opening yet. <sighs> my son, my... Home networking has been file sharing and everything has been turned off. But this continues to happen with multiple devices in the household. If I'm hacked, they're hacked. I, I used to have business class internet, but apparently my cable provider changed it when they updated their speeds because at the time, the only way to have the highest speed Time Warner had was to purchase business class. I call them. I tell them I want a new IP address. They tell me they can't help me. Well, see, nobody can help me. They say, why don't you report it to the FBI? I say, I have. Nobody will do a thing. Well, one day you're going to come across the wrong customer.
Ali adalah kesedihan diri sendiri. No cookies yet. I cleared the cache. I cleared the DNS cache, but I cannot even open face Facebook with one tab open without how many? Oh, and no tool bars either. I don't install them, don't need them. And someone might say, well, cloud storage. I don't use it at all. I store everything on flash drives, BitLocker protected. Or is this supposed to be? In the soft layer, is this supposed to be a cloud service? But I'm guessing they might provide in residential or customers internet service or some sort. Oh, I lost that IP address, so how can I check to see who it is? It disappeared, so... I rarely use Firefox. I don't have their messenger. I don't have a toolbar. I don't have any software from them installed. But there they are. And did I mention I deleted my cache, emptied my cookies, and I'm currently running my scans. An hour and 40 minutes, one hour and 43 minutes, oh, 9.55 p.m., still waiting, ah. I open out at 8 something, right? All right, well, let's do this. No, you're not taking the mailbox away from me. I'm not even logged on yet. And I'm sending. Secure my house. Why should they be secure if they don't secure their customers and their developing community when we have to pay for a service? Why should they get away with claiming secure? <sighs> oh, let's see what next that shows. I'm not in a room.
See what happens when I go in. This one doesn't show up. Ah. I'm still not in a room. That's definitely interesting right there. I don't know how bad. I'm still not in a room. See, I haven't made it past the home screen. Still not in a room, not leaving. As Mickey. Alright, the 161 shows up as Mickey. Now it shows up as my view. 172 is still new to me. No wrong. <sighs> Isn't that one supposed to be Microsoft? All right, loading. <sighs> oh, look at the views there. My little spot when I work in Photoshop. I'm usually just a park avatar while I'm creating this. One seven four thirty seven point twelve thirty nine seventy two. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven other people in the room. So I make eight. Now, let's see what I can find here.
Alright, so far nothing is magically flashing. <laughs> 10 09. It's still not showing us yet. I told my son that he should tell his teacher to create a program that gives users more control and more security so that we can have control over who's uploading what and that we can block them or we can report them to authorities without having show our asses to get somebody to listen to us because this is not right. Someone should have took my first complaint seriously instead of blowing it off. It's been going on for years, probably far longer than you could imagine. I've only been fighting, I've been a developer since 2010. That's five years. And I guarantee you it was happening to people before I became one. And you know, there's people out there that create meshes and other items for video games. And they're always complaining in the forums about their products being stolen. And what does DCMA do? Gives out your personal information so that people can call you at home and threaten to kill you and your family to intimidate you so that you don't press charges. When you contact authorities and they ignore it, they should be investigating this because you know, when you give somebody their full address, they could show up at my door tomorrow for all we know. When they say they have 11 friends that's going to come and kill me and my family, that should be taken seriously because if they didn't have my phone number, they didn't have my full address, but they have everything I had to supply to the agent. If they had the legal land to, leg to stand on, they would have said, let's fight, we'll deal with it in court. Why did they call me and say, I'm going to kill you. Why did they call, tell me that nobody will believe me because I don't have a huge following? Well, I don't. And I like it that way. I don't want to be famous. I just want justice. Ten thirteen and still waiting.
1021 <laughs> still won't open. Is someone actually trying to stop them? I hope so. 